Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome back to Divine Conversations, I feel like I want to say. So hey, welcome back. And then also welcome to your general reading for August of 2022 and beyond. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this message, this reading, this video finds you well, yes? We are gonna get into this. This is a general reading for you, Aquarius, so please keep that in mind. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. If you find that you would like some more messages for yourself to be coming through for you potentially in the future through this channel, then I definitely encourage you guys to get engaged. Smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. That is definitely the most effective way um, to do this because regardless as to whatever your, your profile image is or what your name is uh, here on YouTube, by you leaving a comment absolutely leaves an energetic stamp on the reading and when i read through those comments i'm then able to connect with your energies more so if there are any other messages that spirit wants to bring you in the future that will be able to happen more effectively should you be involved yeah but then also if you are looking for something quite personal for you i highly recommend a personal reading those are always better because it is more personal to you and though i am available for that so check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up, yeah? Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, and also Aquarius, this is a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment, especially even since you know we are channeling this or this is coming through for you in the month of August of 2022. Uh, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, Aquarius, then that is the message for you in that Momentski, yeah? One or two? Two, please. Two more shuffles for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. And then we will get into this energy for you. Uh, what I'm seeing for you already, Aquarius, is something that is along the lines of what everyone else is going through. I'm seeing purple energy for you, which is bringing through a sense of heightened awareness, higher awareness. With that purple energy, I am seeing a light blue. Now, when I channel for the air signs, I often see the color blue. Um, I associate that, I tend to, it's like a light blue, like sky blue even. That helps me connect with the air signs, right? You are, in fact, an air sign, Aquarius. But what I'm really getting for this is, is that it's more than, it, it represents more than just your el elemental uh, uh, alignment. It represents that being of air, right? And thoughts and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, intellect and logic and all that kind of stuff. It also uh, res represents for you specifically a sense of authenticity. And what I'm getting specifically for this Aquarius is a realization or coming to an awareness of lacking in authenticity. And what I'm getting for this specifically is that either you are recognizing how you have been lacking in authenticity or how you may have been influencing others or maybe even demanding that others act or live in certain ways that are not authentic to that to them i'm getting for you aquarius that you have recently had a very big download in terms of understanding who people are intrinsically and their intrinsic uniqueness okay this could either be well it really does kind of feel like it's translating into both because it's i feel like it's translating into an awareness of lack of authenticity within yourself um that has then subsequently led to you recognizing the lacking in authentic expression around others and how you may have been influencing that. Um, or you may, be have, you may have become starkly aware, whatever this download has been for you, it made you aware of how you were requiring others to be lacking in authentic and then that led you to see the lacking in authenticity within yourself as well. It could have happened either way, take it as it resonates, okay? I am being instructed, guided to look at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, it's the Eight of Cups. Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing because ultimately what I'm feeling here, Aquarius, is that you are leaving some sort of something behind, something longstanding. And this does feel like an, a belief or an idyllic sense of an, ide, an idealistic, excuse me, percept, perspective. This is translating into what I'm picking up on as 
that download that came through for you or that higher wisdom, higher understanding, higher awareness represented by the purple energy I was seeing for you that is leading you to walk away from some sort of long-standing situation or circumstance. This doesn't have to be romantic. But what this Eight of Cups is saying to me is here, you're leaving that behind. Or at least you have been at this point influenced to leave that behind. Mm. Okay, you have been or you are being. The, again, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So you could find yourself anywhere here. Maybe you haven't quite received this download yet and you're about to. Or maybe you have received this download and you're starting to process it now and you're slowly coming to the understanding that I've described. Or you've sufficiently received and processed this download and now you are in the, in the process of taking further action in relation to whatever this download has or higher, deeper understanding has been for you or is for you, okay? All right, Aquarius. And you know what's interesting about this is that Aquarius, you are the sign of liberation um, and freedom. Often, you know, real strong Aquarians can be very unique and very eccentric. Um, and that's that you represent, you're the ruler of the 11th house, which is, um, you know, your friends network. And I like to say it can be described as, you know, the type of social groups that you're a part of, or maybe like, I don't know, at a, 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 a in a, in a trivial sense, it could be the, the groups that you're a part of in Facebook, right? That's kind of the energies of the 11th house. And you are the ruler of that. And the 11th house also, or Aquarian energies also um, are very philanthropic, tend to be at least, um, are about revolution and technology and developing new technologies or revolutionizing certain situations to benefit the greater good. And so as we're talking about this lacking in authenticity and how you may have been projecting this sense of needing, requiring, desiring someone or other people to, to show up in a certain way that ultimately is is seen as or is in fact lacking in authentically uh, authentic sense of expression for those individuals as well it's very interesting that we're talking about this with you aquarius now you could be on the receiving end of that but also you could be the one that's putting that out there which to me would tell which would, to me would say or does say that you are or have been at least in some way at odds with this energy this intrinsic energy about you, um, you would, I guess you could be like, since you are, since you are represented as the king of swords in um, the tarot, maybe at that point you would have been seen as the king of swords in reverse instead of upright, right? Because the king of swords upright would be objective, but the king of swords reversed would be highly, highly subjective, meaning their own Feelings, thoughts, whims, opinions, propensities are being projected out onto someone else saying that, no, you got to do this instead of objectively seeing that person or that circumstance for what it truly is and allowing it to be what it truly is, right? It's very interesting that we're talking about this with you. So let's continue. And I don't mean that in an offensive way. <laughs> Talk about this with you. But kind of, maybe this is something someone is saying to you, or maybe this is some, maybe this is part of this download or realization of all people, Aquarius. You're the one that's uh, that's requiring others to be less than authentic. Who hurt you? <laughs> is what I want to say here. Like who? Like really? And maybe this resonates with someone. Who hurt you? What did someone do to you to get you to be so adverse to being unique, intrinsically yourself, right? Interesting. Let's dive into this. What's going on for my Aquarians at this time, please, Spirit? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. First card you have, Aquarius, is the Five of Pentacles. There it is right there. Lack mentality. Feeling left out in the cold. Somebody hurt you or somebody hurt this person. A something or someone, some sort of circumstance, situation, whatever, in their life has them or maybe had them in a lack mentality type of state, this five of pentacles. And this is absolutely the type of energy someone would be coming from if they're looking at others and judging them for their sense of uniqueness because they don't have this sense of acceptance within themselves for themselves to be unique. So when they see someone out in the world being unapologetically themselves, it triggers this person because of their own lacking in self-awareness, but also, I did hear that, but also they're lacking in 
the stability of personal sense of, a sense of expression or um, they're the, lacking in they're lacking in feeling accepted something in their life made them feel not accepted and then that caused them to to do things to be accepted and now they have this judgment about them or this point of view or perspective about them that severely judges anyone else around them that does not fall in line that does not keep up with the status quo that is unapologetically themselves it triggers this person because of this five of pentacles lack mentality feeling left out in the cold feeling rejected moving forward continue for my aquarians please spirit what's going on for aquarius in this message next card the ace of cups self-love unconditional self-love this is the energy that this person or you maybe aquarius has or was has been or was excuse me lacking but at the same time this is the same exact energy that would help someone feel love and feel accepted and that acceptance comes from within aquarius and that's exactly what the ace of cups would represent the ace of cups would represent the love the unconditional love and acceptance that is poured down to all onto all of us in excess in infinite there is no end to this amount of love that could come through for you from the universe should you allow that to happen and that love will ultimately fill up your own cup and then spill out to fill out up to fill other cups or to to flow to other individuals that want it need need it deserve it are entitled to it quite frankly but this is exactly that energy that would fill you up and give you that boost of confidence to help you feel accepted. But the, 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 the message here, Aquarius, is that sense of acceptance comes from within. The, this could be someone here who has externalized their happiness or externalized their sense of acceptance. And when you do that, you effectively give your power away. You are never going to be satisfied if you're constantly requiring your validation or acceptance to come from outside of you because there will always be someone that does not see eye to you that eye to eye with you that does not have share the same opinions as you that does not look at you with love and and respect and acceptance for their own reasons right so if you really want to feel accepted if you really want to feel loved and cherished you have to be able to find that within and not care what other people say about it not care what other people's opinions are of you right anything else for my aquarians at least one more card. oh yes one more card but see it came out and it fell out on the floor and it is what is it upright or reversed reversed please okay it's the four of swords oh okay overall energy is the eight of swords Ooh. okay so as it stands right now, Aquarius, I feel like this message is speaking to someone who may actually be having trouble with or in the process of um, uh, uh, processing or unpacking this download, understanding this sense of higher wisdom. You or this person, Aquarius, is coming from a place of an unstable or, and or a cluttered mind, four of swords reversed. I'm getting a lot of mental chatter. I'm getting a lot of mental chaos with this. This chaos could be the voices and or opinions or of other people that you have experienced that have helped put you or help put this person in this five of pentacles energy. It could be a culmination of all of the experiences that you had that's put this person here um, running rampant through your mind completely filling your mind or filling this person's mind and not allowing the mental clarity to see past this chatter. And that's effectively what has got this person or you Aquarius trapped here, eight of swords. The, the dominant thing that I'm feeling here Aquarius is that we're talking to someone that is seriously processing this energy I just heard or is at least in the process of processing this, coming to an understanding of what this means for you. But of course, this is a general reading, so you could find yourself on the other side of this, but I feel like the dominant way that Spirit wants me to convey this message is to speak to someone who is actually dealing with this download, with processing this download at this time. 
Again, that could be at any moment for you, okay? It does not have to be in August of 2022. So even if you're watching this later on after August and you still find yourself currently in this moment, then this is the message for you at that time, yes? Or I'm sorry, at this time, yes? That this time, meaning when you are actually viewing this reading and it's resonating for you, right? Time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Okay, great. Let's move forward here. What I want to look at, Aquarius, for you is what happened? What put you in this Five of Pentacles? I literally want to know who or what hurt you. Okay. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Aquarius, please. First card. Oh, wow. First card is the King of Cups in reverse. Ooh. It's funny. It's funny because Capricorn got this card too. As a clarifier for the first card that we clarified, it wasn't the first card that came out, but it came out as a clarifier in this position. Well, in this, whatever. What I'm getting for you, Aquarius, is this King of Cups in reverse could actually be your father, whether this person is still alive or not. This person, uh, for those of you that resonate with this, as this is your father, this person was not emotionally available. This, not, this person was not emotionally mature, emotionally stable maybe, but the strongest thing that I'm getting is lacking in emotional availability and maybe even compassion. And so that helped to train you or to train your mind or condition you into this sense of lacking of acceptance. What I just heard is I, as in this person that we're talking to, I am not lovable. That's what you've learned, or that's what this person has learned here. Whether it's through your father or some sort of parental figure or just individuals, this could be a group of individuals or like a societal uh, surroundings that was lacking in emotional availability, a lacking in emotional availability, emotional awareness, emotional strength, emotional maturity, compassion. Yeah. Okay. Clarify the five of swords, not the five of swords, the five of pentacles, excuse me. Then you have, oh, wow. And then you have the star in reverse. Oh my God. This is actually really, really terrible, really tough, really painful. Because in this, you lost faith. Aquarius, this is you. The star here represents your energy. This is you right here, lacking in faith, lacking in belief of self, losing, having lost or having become disconnected with your sense of self. And actually, outside of the fact that the star represents Aquarian energy, this is actually kind of a perfect representation of this energy here because the star also represents faith, but it also represents um, the, at least in terms of this situation, it's representing your ability to just be you and not know how things are going to work out, not know where it's going to take you, not know what the end result of it is going to be, but still having enough faith to say, I'm just going to be myself and we're going to let these things work out as they do. Well, you've rejected that. And I don't mean that in an in a, in a offensive, I don't mean to offend you, but it's this advent of the five of pentacles here of lacking in feeling accepted that has caused you to reject yourself. Anything else for the five of pentacles? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Queen of swords. Okay. Stop right there. Okay. Aha, this also came out for Capricorn. Not surprising because you guys are right next to each other, but you have the nine of pentacles. Independence and sovereignty. Yes, honey. This is the energy that says, you know what? Screw you. Okay. I am an independent soul. I am an independent individual. I have got my sovereignty and I don't give a damn what you have to say about it. I'm going to do me and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. That's what the nine of pentacles says. Now, I feel like here we're getting to the point where either you are coming out of this five of pentacles energy or this is advice for you in what is needed to help you get out of this five of pentacles energy. But we're starting that with the queen of swords. Yes, ma'am. To the ten of wands. Yes, ma'am. To the empress. Yes. Ooh, ah, whoa. To the queen of cups in reverse. You have the king and the queen of cups reversed here. This could be a mother and a father. Oh, shit. Give me a second. So either having come out of this five of pentacles energy or advice in how to come out of this five, five of pentacles energy. First and foremost, discernment, the queen of swords. 
Your burdens, your beliefs, your struggles are not mine to carry. Your projections are not mine to own. They are projections from your point of view. That you, and, and, and look, okay, you have to understand, take the, take the, even though the Queen of Swords can be very nasty when she wants to be, maybe even when she needs to be, take the animosity, the, the, the ire, the vim and vigor, the vinegar or whatever, the, um, the, the venom out of this, out of this discernment energy, because understand that the person, the people, or person that has affected you in this way, they are coming from their own sense of pain as well, okay? So we are not going to demonize them here, but we are going to say that this is not my burden to carry. Nope. Just because you don't, you don't accept me, just because you don't like who I am, just because you don't appreciate it, just because you don't seem to agree with it, doesn't mean I have to follow suit. Queen of Swords to the Ten of Wands, this is not my burden to carry. So for those of you that are really struggling with coming out of this sense of feeling rejected, you have got to understand that their, someone else's opinion of you doesn't fucking matter. Okay. And I really want to say this again, of all signs, I find it very interesting that I'm having this conversation with an Aquarian because you are, you know, just your energy in general is the absolute antithesis of what we are talking about here. That energy of Aquarius is all loving, all accepting, all individuals as individuals for who they are and what it is they bring to the world, what it is they represent. And also Aquarius in its philanthropic propensity is starkly aware of the fact that each and every individual that finds them here, whether plant, animal, or human, or mineral, element will say each and every aspect of this reality that we find ourselves in is has a very much a right to be here in the fullest of their glory so when it comes to this energy aquarius cut the shit that's it right here right now cut the shit queen of swords to the ten of wands this is not my burden to carry okay your wounding and scarring is not mine to have and uh, to share with you. And then you have the Empress to the Queen of Cups in reverse. So while this Queen of Cups could represent a mother, but it also could represent the lacking in compassion that I was feeling, picking up on, which the Queen of Cups would actually officially represent that more than the King, but they still are compassionate energies. They're the water energies, they're emotional energies. What this is saying to you here is even though this mother or this individual in your life may have not had the compassion for you, the universe does, God's source creator does, the Empress. You are, it is your divine right to live your life to the fullest of your natural expression. And this queen, this Empress energy here is a representation of that unconditional love, Ace of Cups, that comes from the universe that created you to be who you are to begin with anyway. Create, loves you so much to create you exactly as the individual that God source creator created you to be with intentions of you to live that, express that, and enjoy that. So while these people in your physical life, represented by the Queen of Pentacles and also, I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups and also the King of Cups, while these physical individuals in your life may reject you, the universe never will. God source creator never will, the Empress. And that is another reason as to why Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, this is not my burden to carry. Bro, ski, sis, ma, dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, uncle, brother, sister, cousin, six time removed, whatever. <laughs> okay. Boss, coworker, friend, or colleague, fuck that. No. You have every right to your independence and sovereignty. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Let's look at this Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups for my Aquarians, please, Spirit. First card you have. The Jesus Christmas. Okay, let me say this. Uh, right before this card came out, which is in fact the Lovers, right before this card came out, my, my intuition peaked up and was like, yeah, this also is in alignment with what's going on with the collective. It seems that for all of the collective left messages this month so far, again, uh, well, I'll say, um, I'm almost done. You're second to last Aquarius. I only have to do Pisces next. This 
element of your divine right to choose has been coming out for damn near everybody. Just about, I want to say, I, at this point, I can confidently say, again, I still have to do Pisces, but I can confidently say that this, this energy has come out for all y'all, for all of us. And the lovers is the exact representation of that. The lovers, yes, can, re can represent a romantic relationship, whether that be twin flame or divine partnership or like kingdom spouse, whatever, however you see it. But ultimately, at its baseline, the lovers represents a choice. And when it comes through as the lovers, which is major arcana, which is big spiritual uh, uh, situations, this would absolutely be the card that represents your right to free will. It's your choice. You can either live in restriction or you can live in freedom. Freedom of expression, freedom to be yourself. And that is the very first card that's come out for the Ace of Cups, which is the exact, excuse me, which is the exact energy that says you are unconditionally loved and you can choose to do whatever it is you want. The universe is never going to demonize you for that. Your right to choose to be unequivocally yourself or some sort of carbon copy of someone else. You can do that. Regardless as to what anyone has said to you, done to you, whatever the burdens or stipulations or requirements or projections someone else may have or some other situation or multiple people or situations may have put on you, Aquarius, or maybe cross watcher, Ultimately, you still have that divine right to choose whether you're going to accept that, assimilate that and express that, or you're going to accept and assimilate yourself and express that. Ultimately, that is always your right to choose. This Ace of Cups is representing not only the divine love that would give you the support and feelings of acceptance to express yourself, but it also gives you the divine love to say, if you want to choose to something else, to do something else, honey, you, that is absolutely your thing. Go right ahead. It's your choice, Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Anything else for the Ace of Cups? Okay. You do have the Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Cups here. Anything else? No, actually, I do. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want you to see. Oh, those are two cards. I don't want to see. The, I don't want you to see those yet. <laughs> unless you already have. But you do have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. This is definitely about the past. This has to do with the past. Memories, nostalgia, definitely could be a family situation. But you see, with this Ace of Cups, this cup of divine love that the universe is sending to you, which is saying to you, you have the right to choose. It's providing you with an opportunity to start something new, to take a new offer, to start a new pathway, to start building something new physically in your life. But you are actively rejecting that Four of Cups. This is so perfect. The Four of Cups is represented or depicted as someone sitting under this tree with three cups next to them, and then a fourth cup being offered to them, but they seem to be rejecting it. This fourth cup would be representative of that Ace of Cups right there. But then the other three cups are the collective understanding, the status quo, the hive mind, the, the, the conditioning that you are still so stuck on and you're not allowing yourself to accept this new cup, this new reality that is actually providing you with a chance to change your life, Ace of Pentacles. Now, you have two last cards here, and they are Temperance with the Eight of Cups. Bam! Walking away. Walking away from a long-standing situation in service of greater harmony, balance, and I'm also hearing union. Whether that be union within the self or union uh, with a partner or certain family members or friends or colleagues or greater harmony with the universe. Ooh wee, Aquarius, look at this. Ain't this some tea, honey? Mm. All right, finally. Let's clarify this Four of Swords in reverse here for you and see if we can clear up some of this mental clatter, uh, uh, clutter, yes, and chatter. Clarify the Four of Swords in reverse for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Stop it. The devil? Fuck yeah, the devil. Mm -hmm. Capricorn energy, potentially, maybe, who knows? Take it as it resonates, but I felt like saying that. I heard it, so I'll say it. 
but I don't normally like to call out the signs this way. I mean, like keeping up with that, you've got Capricorn, you've got Sagittarius, you've got Gemini, you've got Cancer, you've got Taurus, Libra, you've got Libra again, you've got Aquarius, you've got Scorpio or any other water sign or any other air sign. Okay. Take it as it resonates. I don't care. But <laughs> clarifying the four of swords in reverse, the first card you have is the devil. Straight up fear. Fear and mental conditioning, maybe even codependency. Oh, yes, codependency. This five of pentacles does represent codependency as well. And no, we're not talking about necessarily, it could be, but we're not necessarily talking about financial or physical codependency. This definitely feels like emotional codependency, or this feels like codependency surrounding the topic of needing to feel accepted. You are codependent or this person is codependent on having the acceptance of others in order to feel exception with, accepted within themselves or in order to accept themselves. That is toxic. That is the devil right there. That is you giving your power away, my love. Okay? Clarify. And that's why your mind is so unclear or this person's mind is so unclear because you've got this guy's voice in your head. Whatever this guy is saying to you or whatever this energy is saying to you or represents to you, this is what's causing the mental clutter, the inability to see, think, hear clearly, okay? Clarify the Four of Swords in reverse, please, Spirit. How can we help Aquarius with this? Oh, so what do you do? What do you do to fight the devil? You fight him with compassion, the Knight of Cups. I mean, come on. You've got, all, you've got the, the King, the Queen, and the Knight now, but the Knight is the one that's upright parental figures, authoritative figures with the king and the queen, but the, the young one, the adolescent, the one that doesn't, have all of, doesn't necessarily have all this conditioning that might be represented in someone that has experienced a lot or been here a while, lived a long time. The younger one, the slightly naive one, not as naive as his brother or sister in the page, but still not as Maybe not as emotionally mature, not well, definitely, technically not as emotionally mature as the king and the queen. Okay, but that's not anything bad because this is acceptance here. This is unconditional love. This I see the Knight of Cups as a representation of the heart chakra. And the heart chakra is unconditionally loving. Boop, the Empress. Clarify this Four of Swords in reverse, please. Seven of Cups, anything else? Gaslighting. Two of Pentacles, anything else? Jeez Louise, <laughs> Spirit's just dropping all the cards on me. Oh my God, Aquarius. Overall energy, we were back to the Nine of Pentacles again, babe. I mean, come on, you can't make this stuff up. And then you also have this Eight of Swords here again. All right, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. And then you have the King of Pentacles, the World, and the Ace of Wands. Oh my God. You know what I'm gonna do, Aquarius? I'm gonna take this as your closing message because that's what it feels like. So, okay, we'll look at that in a second. What you have here to clarify the Four of Swords reverse is the Devil, the Knight of Cups, but then the Seven of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. And of course, the Seven of Wands, but I'll get, that, I'll get to that in a second. This is what's keeping you trapped. Gaslighting, illusions, Seven of Cups that keep you going back and forth. And I feel like it's, at, by now, I feel like what we're talking about here Take it as it take, again, take it as it resonates. But I feel like it's this gaslighting and this confusion that keeps you waffling back and forth. And then you could be at a point where it's like you're trying to accept this new sense of self or this new reality, this new sense of acceptance, but like either fear and or situations from the past are holding you back, seven of cups, and are causing you to go back and forth, a, a two of pentacles or something like that. Okay, but that's keeping you trapped. Eight of Swords. And what needs to happen here in relation to this is you've just got to put up boundaries. Seven of Wands. You've just got to be an independent and sovereign being. Nine of Pentacles. Thinking for yourself. Closing message here, Aquarius. King of Pentacles. The world. And the Ace of Wands. What does this say? Well, the King of Pentacles is an individual who is so very sure of themselves. Like this person knows themselves in and out, ideally. That is representing you. Now, you don't have to be just right away in that uh, fully aware of yourself, but the, what's needed here, I would even go so far as to say, because I also, I just heard it, but what's desired here is for you to be so rooted in yourself, in your sense of self, that no one can come around and tell you who you are or who it is you're supposed to be. 
And that, effectively, Aquarius, will end this cycle for you and allow you to step out of that one and step into a new one, which I do feel like is resonating with this Ace of Pentacles right here, okay? Wow, Aquarius. Okay. The King of Pentacles can be seen as the mountain and no, as or as a mountain, right? And no matter how much you want that mountain to move for you, no matter how long or how much you desire it and you stand there and no, no matter how long you stand there and shout at, scream at the, at the mountain, demand that it move, demand that it do this and that, try and take all of your manifestational abilities to move that mountain. Bitch, you ain't moving that mountain. That mountain is not going nowhere. That mountain is what it is. It's staying right here and it's going to continue to be that mountain despite what you have to say about it or despite what anyone else has to say about it. And of course, you could or people could come through and be like, fine, mountain, you don't want to move, then I'm going to tunnel through you. That doesn't make it any less of the mountain. That actually just looks bad upon the people that are that are trying to like, I, and I understand we sometimes we have to dig through mountains and like whatever and blah, blah, blah. I understand that. But this is an analogy, right? That just looks bad on the people that are so forcefully trying to get what they want to try and make someone other than who they really are. That doesn't look bad on you. It really looks bad on the, worse on those other people. No matter what, you're not going to move that mountain. You can tunnel through it all you want, but you are not going to move that mountain. That's where you need to be. Aquarius, king of pentacles, so sure of yourself, so grounded within yourself, so self-aware that ain't nobody on the face of this planet could come in and try and tell you who you are or who you're supposed to be and effectively circumvent your own sense of authenticity. Uh-uh, ain't happening. But Aquarius, the caveat here is that it is upon you to choose the lovers whether you are going to allow that sense of acceptance and love to come in for you so that you can get to this place. Obviously, we are not expecting you to be there overnight, but it is still your choice, Aquarius. Okay? Excellent. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, definitely check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be very, very happy to get you all hooked up. Smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. But with that said, Aquarius, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.